Hunter X Hunter episode 76. I wonder if Jing wasn't doing this because it's what he wished for himself. Look, I imagine having kids. I imagine all the things I will do that I wished I had when I was a kid, if that makes sense. <laughs> and it's really cute, you know, come to think of it, that Gon wants to meet <laughs> Jing to show him his proudest accomplishment, to make his dad proud. And that's his friendship with Klua. And new opening. I'm watching it. I'm just watching it. I'm watching it. Cell is Cell Tell. Am I imagining it or did they re-sing it? There will be bugs? Wow. Ant Army. More characters you're gonna go to love. And a lot of them. A lot of them. Nice. Hope he makes a reappearance. There will be bugs. Right, I think I've heard this referred to as the Chimera Arc. Chimera Arc? Alright, I don't think I really got any spoilers, spoilers out of that. I have no context. Reunion X and X Understanding. Could this be it? Could this be the episode? I, I don't know. I'm apprehensive about the Jing meeting. If it is him, he picked a very scenic spot. Experience says no. My hope says yes, but also I'm afraid. It's, it's gonna be totally different. Yeah, to actually meet him. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Maybe it is Jing. <laughs> That's exactly what I would expect. We escaped the game, but we're still in a very game mechanic. Bad roll? Best roll. Bug foreshadowing. What kind of bug Armageddon have we teleported ourselves into? Yes? No. Right. But we teleported to Jing's location. Maybe he was targeting the tree. Or the ants inside of the tree. When you want to find your father, but all you get are ants. Chimera Arc. This specifically? Almost getting killed by ants? I see, so that giant scythe comes out of that thing. Alright, this is what's familiar. We met before. But, like, Gon looks pretty grown in that flashback. Alright, so he remembers. Guarantee you this has led to a bunch of people killing insects and saying, forced to take another life, as I shall do from now on. I just picked it up. Kono has always loved animals more than he loves humans. In a sense, Gon is the fox cub. He's in a 20 meter vicinity, maybe. Oh, hi. You guys ever see the movie Mimic? I guess the, the positive reading of this is that Jing believed so much in Gon that he used his energy towards people who needed his help more than Gon. Everyone talks his way about Jing. Everyone. He stole the bread that I stole first. Very Aladdin. Oh, there's a poo. And there's bird apu. Something about this guy and animals. <laughs> See, also a manipulator. I sent someone with talent who needs my help. 
You have won my approval. Animals, my animals like you, I like you. Anyone else use their pets to evaluate potential love interests, romantic interests? I can't be the only one. ジンさんが言うにはいいハンターってやつは動物に好かれるそうだ。フォースとテイクアナザーフィッシュライフ。だが相手は俺の知る限り世界最高のハンターだ。これがどんな狩りより難しい。尻尾を捕まえようにも足跡すら残さない。The like really talented and psychotic. Look, I've been saying about Source of Signal and also related to Hisoka and why Hisoka is so likable despite being, you know, an absolute psychopath. Because we can't actually see the contents of someone's character, we're forced to rely on snapshots of the spill-offs of their character, the effects of their character in their actions, or their mannerisms, how they talk. Confidence is something very charismatic and something that you, you naturally want to follow. And part of that is because confidence is difficult. It often suggests that the Source is something really strong and intelligent, seasoned, dedicated, has a vision and also the qualities with which to pursue that vision. The problem is, and I'm no psychologist, but like people who are just devoid of a lot of natural things like fear and empathy and what have you end up looking a lot like people who are confident and end up being really charismatic. And it's especially dangerous if those people are talented like Hisoka and like Jing. There's nothing about this that suggests that Jing is good yet. Maybe the fact that he goes around helping people in need is a sign of the positive. But then it depends on what the ask is and what the overall goal is. There are examples in history of really terrible figures amassing like a group of followers, right? And a lot of times the goal or the method by which they do that is targeting people who are at the bottom and are lost and giving them something to believe in, something to hope for, and even pouring a lot of love into them. Classic example being All for One and Shigaraki, where like on the surface, he saves Shigaraki, right? But it's not for Shigaraki's benefit, ultimately. It's a bizarre game that he's playing and like a lack of attachment and a, a refusal to really commit and a sort of frivolousness that I'm getting about other people's lives and their endeavors. He's just so high up there in terms of his charisma and power that people are drawn to him and will follow him. Does that mean he's a bad person? No, it's just like, I'm not convinced he's a good person. I'm not convinced he has anyone's best interests at heart yet. He's doing something about harnessing some power for some great aim. It just gets more bizarre the more you see that he's doing the same thing with everyone. Does it not in some sense also invalidate or lessen the significance of Gon's quest if he's also doing that with his apprentices? <laughs> And I loved you, Gon. Because you had Jinx DNA. Oh. Yeah, I guess Jing has eyes on him at all times, in a way. Just delighted by these bizarre displays because Jing San pays attention to me. That's part of what concerns me. What's the end game? Or Woodwoon, as he was once known. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's also delighted by the fact that everyone puts a beat down on Gon. My shoulder will never be the same. Where does it end? Maybe he meant from Demi Kalua and Hisoka. That would explain the coincidence of them all being in the same hunter exam. そういえば昔、ジンさんに連れられてゲームの中に入ったことがあったな。やっぱり。グリードアイランド。うん。確かそんな名前だった。Give the guy credit for his clairvoyance. あれで本当に良かったの。ジン。No, I'm not. まあ
That is so in direct opposition to what Gon wants and who he is. Gutless? There's nothing gutless about Gon wanting to bring Kalua. He's not using him as a crutch. It's like his proudest accomplishment. I'm starting to feel bad for him too. More fish lives lost. Yeah, like, if we're going down that road, who the hell knows? I'm not saying this is the case. If you have a suspicion of something and you start looking for it, you'll, you'll end up finding evidence for it everywhere. But like, speaking of the psychopath thing, another element to that kind of manipulation when you're trying to form a group of followers in, let's say, a cult, is separating people from their friends and like positive influences. You want to isolate them from their touchstones so that they end up melding into your worldview. To take this in a wild, wild direction, what if Jing just needs going actually because of the DNA thing and he needs to absorb or breed with going to create some ultimate new form of Jing freeze, like Jing squared, a la Resident Evil. Is Gon being harvested? I was always saying that Gon might be in for a disappointment, but that was for other reasons. Now I'm thinking he might really be in for a rude awakening. How'd you do it? Tell us how you did it, Kite. Totally erratic behavior. I will forever cherish that gust of wind on my face from Jing's fist. Sure, but I'm forgive me for being skeptical. Go might prefer just to find him. Yeah. Right. I think I know it. I feel like I know enough. <laughs> I know enough to be concerned at least. Oh yeah, Cell was an insect, right? Another fish live lost. He must have lungs. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He's an honorary hunter? Never even did the exam? That's just... He, he, like, raised the size of the world by an incredible margin. There's 10 Jings? Who has sips coffee? I feel like I've got to deal with these ants first, and the giant ant. Again, in this episode, I'm totally in the realm of, of absolute pure speculation. I don't really have evidence. Imagining a way this could be written if Jing actually does turn out to be some kind of charismatic evil. Kalua could possibly end up in a very weird situation. Gon will have blinders on because of his obsession with finding Jing, and like probably a great desire for Jing to be like the greatest person ever. Like he just eats all this stuff up. He loves to hear it. Kalua has the space to be a little bit more detached because Gon's happiness is his priority. Not Jing. If it did turn out that Jing was a weirdo and that Gon was in danger, Kalua would have the very, very difficult chance of trying to pull Gon back, and Gon might react very negatively to that. There's something about not wanting Gon to bring friends that rubs me the wrong way. It almost pits Jing and Kalua against each other. Yeah, a lot of fish lives lost. Why do we get an ant crotch shot? And new ending. There's something very cell like about the what I think will be the villain of this arc. La 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 la, your father is a psychopath. <laughs> Potentially. Kalua getting a headache. Going sad? Uh oh, growing increasingly more alarmed. Soul searching Gon. Kalua, like, how do I. How do I start this conversation? Am I writing a fanfic again? <laughs> it would be interesting if that's the way it went. Long beach sunrise shot. I get a very unsettling feeling watching this, given the context of that episode. I've been speculating on a certain element of this, or a twist on this since the beginning, which is that Gon is making Jing the focus, right? Like, that's the crux of his adventure. And it served him really well because it's created all of this, right? This is all for that reason, and all the stuff is something that Gon has done. It's growth he's made, it's his character that he's built. So to that extent, the Jing quest has been amazing. Finding Jing itself, questionable how good that is. Very generally, the achieving of the goal is great and kind of necessary for the story and the narrative and the arc, right? But it creates a new challenge of what now? And it's always been possible from the very beginning that finding Jing is sort of a nothing. The actual finding of him, I mean, not the journey up to it. Okay, you found Jing and, and now what? You know, what does it actually do for you? It will depend largely on who he is. And Gon probably has a lot of hopes and expectations and dreams wrapped up in that image of like, well, then I'll get my daddy's love, you know, and I'll get to show him how great I am and all the friends I've made. And 
that might not turn out to be the case, just like with other goals. You know, you might think there's these things I want in my life. If I only could, why? You know, I only accomplish why. All of these other problems that stem from why will be solved. But then you achieve your goal and you realize, well, the, the issues were maybe more fundamental to myself than they were any kind of external accomplishment. You see this with people who are struggling in a certain area, you know, like people in a, a romance deficit in that rung of the hierarchy of needs. If only I had a girlfriend who loved me. And then, you know, they have a girlfriend who loved me and it's great and you get really great things out of that, but it doesn't solve your life, right? It's not a permanent fix or panacea to all the ills that befall your mind or the challenges of life. Same thing with money. You know, you see people lust after riches and then obtain the riches and the riches certainly do solve some problems, but not the deeper, more existential ones, evidenced by the fact that there are plenty of unfathomably miserable wealthy people. And I say that from experience. Now with Jing's weirdness coming to mind, at least for me, it seems even more of a danger because not only will it not be all the things one might expect it to be, it could be something terrible. But you know, saying that out loud, it might be the best thing that could happen because it, it, it would be more of a push more of a force to examine what are the actual things that, that matter. What are the goals behind the goal?